Aishwarya Singh Solanki and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be talking about something that everyone should be well versed with. Masks. Yes, in this rising pandemic, it is of utmost importance that everyone around us should be well aware of the proper usage of masks. So without any further delay, let's move on with the video. So in this video, I'll talk about three very important things. Firstly, how to wear a mask and I'll tell you about a new guideline of double masking which has been released recently by the CDC that is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Secondly, how to take off your mask. And thirdly, which is very important, the do's and the don'ts related to mask. Anyways, you all know about the different WhatsApp shares we get these days. So I would like to bust the myth here. So let's see how to wear a mask. According to the CDC, a new guideline has come which tells us about the importance of double masking. Before I take you further to show you the actual technique, let's see some stats. An unknotted surgical mask provides a protection of 56.1%. A cloth mask, on the other hand, provides 51.4%. Knotted surgical mask provides 77%, but a combination of both knotted surgical and cloth mask provides 85.4% of the protection. So now, as you all saw, how important it is to use two masks. So let's see. First step. You should sanitize your hands properly, the fingers and the finger webs. In the two masks, the one which will be inside will be the surgical mask which you can dispose of easily and the mask which will be on the outer side will be the cloth mask. I'll repeat this, don't do the opposite of it. The inside mask will be this surgical mask and above it you will use a cloth mask like this. Okay, so this is the surgical mask. How to know which side is inside and which side is outside? Generally, the white portion of the mask is the one which will be towards your face and the blue portion will face outside. This is a strip here which will fit on the nose. A very important technique that the government has mentioned is knotting of the mask. You will fold the mask like this and you will knot it. Similarly, I'll knot it this side. See. So whatever extra part is there, I'll push it inside. I am asking you to knot it because the whole purpose of mask is that it should snugly fit on your face so that no air leaks out from anywhere. So when you will knot it, it will have a tight grip over your mouth. So as you know, I have tightened it up and I will put this mask in this manner and fit it properly on your nose, press it. You see how tightly it's fixed to my face. The second mask which we will use is the cloth mask which is a reusable one. You hold it by the strings, put it like this. Now you can see I'm having a double protection. How to ensure that the mask is properly placed? Try to exhale. I can't feel any air above my nose. It means that the mask is snugly placed. And for the people who wear specs, you should know if there is fogging on your specs, it means your mask is not properly placed. Now I will tell you how to take off the mask. Firstly, sanitize your hands again properly. You should know we are not supposed to hold the mask from its front because the maximum germs will be sitting up here. So we will hold the mask by its string. I took off 
the cloth mask. How will you discard? You hold it like this. Turn it upside down. The outside part goes in as you all can see in the video. And then I put in my laundry for wash. And this is a surgical mask which has to be disposed of. I'll take it off and I'll put it in my bin. Once you have taken off your mask, don't forget to sanitize your hand with soap or any sanitizer. That is a very important step. Now we'll move on towards the end of my video and this part is very important. These days I hear so many messages from my relatives which forward me from the WhatsApp University about the so many rumors that is there present right now. So I'll tell you what are the do's and what are the don'ts of the mask. Firstly, let's talk about the do's. Many people ask me what type of cloth mask should we use? Should I order a Van Hoosen mask or should I order a Wildcraft mask? Guys, it doesn't matter. One thing you should know that any cloth mask which you are using, it should have at least two or more than two layers of fabric which is breathable and comfortable to you. Don't use fabric in which you sweat a lot or you are not able to breathe. This is very important. Secondly, you should use the mask which snugly fits on your nose and mouth. The whole purpose of the mask is that no air should leak out while you are exhaling. So, whenever you put a mask, try to exhale hard and see if you can see feel any air above your nose or if your specks are getting fogged. It means your mask is not properly placed. So that's a very important part. Now I'll tell you about the don'ts of the mask. Please don't use masks on children which are less than 2 years of age because it will suffocate them. Secondly, there are masks with some vents and people are actually very fascinated because somehow they resemble the N95 mask. But guys, please don't use it. Because the valves which are present in these masks, they are one way valve. It means that it won't let germs to enter your mouth but whatever you are exhaling it will go out. So whatever virus you will be exhaling it will harm the people around you. So please I request avoid such masks with the vents. Thirdly, don't combine a surgical mask with an another surgical mask or an N95 mask with any other mask because if you do so, the mask will not snugly fit on your face and also it will make breathing difficult for you. So always and always use the inside mask as the surgical mask and the outside mask as your cloth mask. So guys, you must be wondering that why nowhere I mentioned the use of N95 mask. Yes, the reason is I know N95, 95 means that it is 95% efficient in filtering the germs. But... Many studies, some observational studies have shown that the surgical mask and the N95 mask are not much different when it comes to filtering the coronavirus. So why use it? And also N95 masks are reserved for the healthcare workers. So let it be for them so that we should not outrun the supplies. Thank you everyone for having the patience of watching this video till this end. And I would request from you that you share this video as much as possible with your dear ones so everyone gets aware of the correct usage of masks so that we together as a community know how to cut the infection at our level and if you found this video informative please do encourage me by liking the video and subscribing to my youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon and if you want more such informative videos from me please comment down the topics or anything which you want to hear from me i'll do my best and i'll be glad to provide you with whatever information i have thank you stay home stay safe